Hello, everybody. My name is Janet Few. I am a North Devon historian and writer, and I'm also a historical interpreter, which basically means I dress in old fashioned clothes and pretend to live in the 17th century. Although actually, sometimes I think I do live in the 17th century. It's a little confusing. But I'm here today to talk about my writing. I've written both nonfiction and fiction books, but I'm going to concentrate on the two novels that I've published while I'm talking to you today. So why am I so fascinated in social history? Well, I think it's because I just love people and trying to understand what makes people behave in the way that they do. What instances in their past have influenced their current behavior? Oh, I loved history at school, many people didn't, but I did. And even though that was a diet of political history, economic history, kings, queens, foreign policy and so on, it didn't put me off. But as I got older, I realized I was interested in the people that don't appear in history books, the people whose lives would otherwise be forgotten. And part of the reason behind my two novels was to preserve the stories of people who might otherwise not have made it into the history books. Although I do have to say that one of my novels is based on a slightly more well-known incident than the other. Now I've been asked which book I get asked about most and, and really it depends, it tends to go in waves. Currently, this one, Barefoot on the Cobbles, set largely in Clavelli, but also a little bit in Biddeford and Torquay. That's the one that seems to be popular right at this moment. However, a month or two ago, it was the case that Sins as Red as Scarlet was the one that everyone was asking me about. Set earlier, this one, Barefoot on the Cobbles, takes place in the 20 or 30 years and up to the end of the First World War. Sins as Red as Scarlet really builds on my knowledge as Mistress Agnes and is set in the 17th century. And is Mistress Agnes real? Well, not really, but she could be. I took her name from the parish register locally and her character has evolved during the 12 or so years that I've been Mistress Agnes. She's a lady of an uncertain age living during the time of the English Civil War. And she dabbles in a little bit of herbal medicine, which gets her into trouble occasionally because, you know, is she a witch? Well, I wouldn't like to say. But I enjoy being Mistress Agnes. And it, it, sometimes I think I really do live in the 17th century. I think as if I live in the 17th century. I even talk as if I live in the 17th century sometimes. And although I do think like a 17th century person, I tried not to use full blown 17th century language for the novel or it would have been incomprehensible but I like to think I've given you a flavour of the fact that you are actually 400 years ago. So how's it been during lockdown? Well quiet I suppose. The things that I normally do go out and give talks, try and sell my books, I can't do and I also bought one of those books out during lockdown which was a slightly different experience. And I think what's happened is I've had to work much harder to achieve the same ends. So whereas I would normally going out, going out talking to people face to face about my books, about social history, I had to do it through the rectangle that is my computer screen. But I have done, and I've done many presentations across the world about various historical topics. It's been a little bit harder to sell books. Obviously, if I'm there in person, I can say to you, look, this is wonderful book I've written. Wouldn't you like to read it? And it's a little bit more difficult to persuade people when they're safely at a distance from you behind a computer screen to part with some money. So as I say, though it's been more difficult, it's been possible. What I haven't really got to grips with is a third novel. And I do have some ideas, but somehow they haven't come together for me to start writing. Maybe I've got the wrong idea. There will be one one day, but it's not going to be any day soon. If I could live as a historical character, who would I be? Well, Mistress Agnes, I guess. I think I'd want to be someone ordinary. Again, someone who perhaps you won't have heard of, someone who doesn't make the history books. Because all those hundreds and thousands of people who've gone before are the ones that fascinate me. I'm also a family historian. So I spend my time tracing my own family history. And I like to particularly focus on what I call the forgotten people, often women whose names don't get recorded in the records in quite the same way as the rich and the famous, and of course the men. And in fact, both those novels have women as their focal characters. So how can you get hold of these books? Well, it'd be lovely if you did. Uh, and of course, ideally you'd get them from me because 
I have boxes in my living room of books. And in fact, only this week have I been able to push my settee back two feet because it's had boxes of books behind it for the last two and a half years. So you can find me online. You just Google my name, Janet Few, or thehistoryinterpreter.wordpress.com. You can also get my books from bookshops and the publisher, Blue Poppy Publishing in Ilfracoon, will also sell them to you directly. They are available as Kindle books, and you'll know where you have to go for that. But if you want a paperback and you're in the UK, please get it from me instead. And I don't charge for postage, so you don't even feel that you're wasting the postage money. So thank you for meeting me and hope you enjoy the books. <laughs>